say so. Whoa, whoa. I already told you. Don't nobody want to hear you screeching. First off, it ain't screeching. I harmonize. They call me Mr. Harmonious. That if you ever want to <laughs> find me, that's my true talent. I just do this part time in between gigs. Please, he needs. Tr- he needs where you can truly this. find me <laughs> is <laughs> on the street corners in my tattered clothes out there getting it, pop locking and singing. He needs but, all the support. Yeah, but see, I when I sing, I like to um, I like to let them know that it comes from another world. Oh like, no, that that shit comes from another world. Yeah, like <laughs> how, like how can you coin? your voice like how can you say like oh he sounds like no he sounds like nothing you've heard before nothing we want to hear before and the universe is having a hard time grasping the idea of hearing such melodic sounds yeah because they're trying to figure out what's worse you're singing or uh cardi b's not on her forehead Oh, <laughs> I am Baron J six seven. I am T Jones, man. And this is episode th- damn, episode thirty four. We over here doing episodes like what? I know, man. Knocking him out, bro. I'm over here just you know, you you know, man. It, oh, speaking of knots, Cardi, <laughs> that is. I was about to go on a tangent, but I, I got to get this out. So I'm I'm gonna be real honest here, folks. I have a serious infatu- man. I have a serious infatuation with ratchetness. Mm-hmm. Um, I I actually kind of get why like preppy rich people like want to dive into the hood mm-hmm. and um and like just kind of dwell and watch and observe and report. Yeah, because I understand because I used to be that person who would just sit up on YouTube. And get lost in the sauce oh, of man. like Kimbo slice fights and <laughs> bum, you know, bum fights. And, I, 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 I used to a, live for that. Yo, I had a deep, strong, like drawn out weekend or a whole week where I was looking at mouse traps. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm I'm telling you, like mouse traps and like shit like that. It's just weird. Oh, how hey, do you? Bro. Get down that path of <laughs> bro. Let me tell you the deepest, weirdest path. I like anything that kind of makes me cringe, mm-hmm. even though I hate cringing. Yeah, like it's like a weird. Like I'm getting goosebumps now just thinking about it. Uh huh. I really enjoy that shit, bro. Like really? I'll go on like Doctor Bump Popper, <laughs> and I'll go and like, watch. I watch like sis get cut open. So you watch those things when they're oh, like oh, ingrown hairs and shit. Oh, I love man. it. Yeah, I can't but watch that know, stuff on Facebook. But bro, I have to watch it. And you know what it is? I grew up in a house with a lot of medical books. So mm. like like the sex talk we'd have in our house was, "Oh, you want to go out there and have sex? Go to page 43." And my mom's always been in medicine, yeah. so you'd open up at page forty three and it'd be like a penis. Look like he got in a fight with Mike Tyson. It like it, bro. Um Yeah, so That's... for me it was always like just that infatuation. Like, oh, what are you watching? Mind your business. It's not you. <laughs> it's it's you bad I'm business? bad that that's what that's your first response is mind yeah. your business. <laughs> You you over here learning something new? I can't learn the the I can't, new. I can't, I can't cringe you, with you. Can you please go about your way? Mind uh, your business. Hey hey, and like speaking on minding your business and like <laughs> cringy cringy stuff. Did you see that post? It was it was super wild. Uh, it was like two million dollars, but you got to post your porn search history. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ooh. <laughs> I was like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about oh, that one. <laughs> I was like, all that glitters is not gold. Exactly. Like, hey, I legit had a full thought about it. I was like, I would have to sit my family down and really explain <laughs> to them. <laughs> explain that, to them a lot. What my internet search history is not who I am. <laughs> <laughs> but but you, you, it's funny because, like, even like I tell my wife, like, yo, you don't even need a laptop. You can do everything on your phone and just transfer everything over to your 
computer, whether yep. it's work or school, anything like that. You could do it like that. So porn search we, history. we find ourselves, or even porn search history, you could transfer over. But even we find ourselves literally diving as deep down the rabbit hole as possible on the, or at least me, on the weirdest shit. Like I tell you, the weirdest thing I was watching. I would yeah I would say it's the mouse trap shit like I was really watching hey. like how they catch mouse like mouse trap different patterns that they had created years ago on mouse like the they um <clears throat> this dude he has a channel I don't really remember it <clears throat> excuse me but he um he was showing a like a le- like a gun <laughs> it's a gun I and think he, he canceled his channel. Well, he couldn't shoot. He, or he stopped shooting it. Yeah, there you go. he he didn't show the actual action because he didn't want to get in trouble for it, and he ended up losing like two thousand subscribers. So he said, "I'm not gonna do those no more." Yep. And he only does like he did one where it like filled up a bucket of he basically drowned these rats in, uh-huh. in mice. And I was like, God, dang. I'm sitting there watching all of this stuff. And then most recent, but the most recent one rabbit hole that I dove into was uh, bees and wasp nests. Like, <laughs> yeah, I spent like a whole two, a whole month. Matter of fact, the time I spent off with uh, for my baby being born, that's what I was watching: bees Bro. and and wasps and all types of crazy stuff. You, you know what I got hooked on, but was low key torturous was. Uh, watching people pour like hot or molten uh, aluminum mm. into ant holes. Oh yeah, I seen those. I'm like, why am I watching this? <laughs> why am I spending why? fifteen yeah, like, minutes diving into this? Yeah, bro. It, oh, you it, know what's satif- satisfying? Uh, what's the names? Uh, the perfect air bump. No, no hell no. <laughs> uh, the 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 press press tube. Where, where, oh, he uses the high, stuff. yeah, with the hydraulic yeah. press, yeah, that, that's. I watch that sometimes, it, and it'd be the weirdest shit too, like a tennis ball, and you get to see exactly what happened, or the uh, the industrial Those dudes crushers, who cut stuff. Oh yeah, the industrial what crushers. About, what about the dudes who cut stuff in slow motion at high speeds? Oh so like, yeah, I see that. One. Yeah. yeah, I seen that. I'm one. Just sitting there. I'm like, ooh. You see the balloon one was dope. Yeah, the balloon one was dope. Oh, and they like busting bubbles. And yeah. I'm like, Ooh. But yes, I, I mean, am I like a am I a turkey? What do you mean? Like, would I if the video camera was up, would I just sit there with my mouth open and drown? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, hey, real talk. Like, I'll sit there. The craziest rabbit hole story I ever heard, and I had to go dive deep to confirm it myself. Mm-hmm. And you have to dive deep. People didn't understand. And please, in the comments, let me know if I'm wrong. That MC Hammer was a goon. Oh yeah, I you know I didn't have to go far from that because especially when you listen to hip hop heads and the old hip hop stories. Whoa. Yeah, like MC Hammer will run up on people's shows fifty D. <laughs> yeah, about that, <laughs> about that. And I'm and this actually segues back into the original knot. Um. <laughs> Cause nowadays you like listen, listen, just just so everyone knows, I love Cardi B. Like I, I really oh, do. Oh, bro, me I, too. I, I love okay. Cardi B. How you do it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but that, there's no way you could miss that knot. You can't. Oh, bro, you can't miss that knot. Like the knot's just there. But hey, oh, go ahead. Oh, I, I wonder if Offset is. Putting a hot and cold pack off, off and on. Is he rotating? Is he rotating? Is he, is he, he offsetting the, switch? the the temperatures <laughs> to make sure the knot goes? To, hey, w- hey, let me tell y'all because I'm gonna have fun with this. Track. Like I'm really, I'm thinking I'm gonna have fun tonight. So I um, as soon as I became a father, my dad joke levels have, <laughs> have risen to. Yeah. Bro, I'm almost bought the Grillmaster Sevens, like, and like oh, the, the monarchs and I bought a pack of white socks, to, like, to let these people know it's dad season. Like, I'm straight dadded. Yeah, and I'm, and then you know what's the something I'm, I figured out? When do people learn to grill? Because it it's one of them things. It's like uh, it's like spades. Yeah. 
you, you either gotta get it or do you it. don't. Yeah. Yeah. And and then you could miss the boat. Like you just don't grill. Nah, don't let him cook. Mm-hmm. You don't touch the, what is he doing? Is that a George Foreman? <laughs> Sir. Listen, you Sir. I feel is like Is that only pepper? <laughs> I I feel like once you get not only you getting your own place and doing your and having your own home that's when like you start like grilling like when you got your own space to do because you can mess up on your own and not eat it or it may be the way you like it because i like my burgers and stuff well done but a lot of people don't wait time out what's well done for you is it like, not burnt crispy is it like a charcoal disc <laughs> does it look like a coal a no, no 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 I don't okay. like pink. I don't like seeing no pink. But uh, okay. even but see, some I've learned sometimes that if you you use skewers, poke holes through your meat, you know that, that helps it. And I That's do it on my own, but other people don't like that. Uh, so yeah, I, don't I cook like my meat skewered. Yeah. See, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's how painful. Jesus. All right. <laughs> but hey, yeah, you just start yeah. doing it on your own. But this is us diving down a whole nother rabbit. Let's stay on topic. Cardi B, yeah. Nicki Minaj. Um, this first stay time. Stay on not. We gotta stay on top of the knot. Okay. okay, so my question is I all I seen was like jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I think personally, I think Cardi got hit by our security guard. Well, that's what the um, story was, that she got accidentally elbowed. Oh damn! See that, that explains sucks. the knot, though, <laughs> bro. But that it sucks so bad because, of course, I didn't read. I don't want to read the story. Yeah, I just want to see pictures and videos because it's the future. <laughs> this is we're, we this is the, the era. Now. We're, we're this in is the, the era. era. Pictures like, and videos. Read, what? Yes, Verify. read. Who reads? No, who does that? <laughs> so, I when I seen the knot, I was like, damn, she won, but she lost. Like that's the worst feeling ever. Like I'm a t- you won. I'm gonna tell you why I don't think she lost is because she's Cardi has. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen like Love and Hip Hop. She's always been yeah. about that life, yeah. so I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure she's wow. had a couple knots and busted lips and all that. Even there was a video that surfaced like a, it was like a old video of like something going down between her and like a group of people. Was it Young Ma? And young Ma was a young. I MA remember that her and her sister was yeah. going down. So she they didn't that. do well. She, but they hung in there. She bought She that. had a lot of fight. I, lot of and heart. I and I'm that's expected from Cardi. True. Like that that type of that type of action, that type of shit is expected from her. And Nicki Minaj now though, she can only run up on Miley Cyrus. That's <laughs> that's it. Like, come on now. Do you really think Miley is she stepping to anybody else? Hey, and you know what's so funny? I gotta ask the question. Like, at what point do you have enough money to where you I don't even fight no more? Like for me, I'm I'm at I'm not even close to rich and I feel like I'm at that point now. The first off, I got something to live for. And I'm I don't do I don't do lock up. Mm-hmm. I don't do lock up. I don't do court. I don't do I don't do none of that. Hey, it, I, so like I guess I guess it's now. I think it's pers- <laughs> it's perspective because with like for example, Cardi B is she cl- she's she claims she's this and that. I won't get into it, but she claims she's this and that, right? Mm. With her claiming that, that's almost like in the way she speaks about it now. That's for life for her. Like she's gonna always talk about it. She's gonna always be about it. Now, do I agree with that? Hell to the no. Nah. But this because is the point. I feel like she got enough money to stop that shit now. She don't need to be fighting no Mickey Minaj. She don't Nicki need to Minaj. be fighting Nicki no, Minaj no. at no damn fashion week in New York City. Out there looking like Jesus resurrected. <laughs> Bro. Let, me bring, let me bring the people bring the picture up. <laughs> yes, please. Because this is the point, folks. All of this came about because we rarely talk about rap beefs and um and beefs. If, I mean, ground beef. <laughs> so th- this not- is. Chuck, Chuck Excuse you me. don't talk about none of that stuff. Bless you. On the screen now is the actual photo that we're talking about with the whole not situation. Memes yeah, and ratchetness. This, this is the, the memes. The fact that they put a famous Renaissance painting of Jesus coming out of the tomb. The tomb. And Cardi B stepping out with missing one shoe. 
was the greatest thing I've seen. It's the y'all, same leg. <laughs> bro, when I tell y'all bro, this saved me today, listen, this listen, got me through today. Is she got the same part in her head. The same bro. the same part. Bro. She got the same hand exposed, the same foot exposed. Bro. All she missing is a beard. <laughs> bro. When I seen this, it made me so happy. Because first off, I think Ev, like you said earlier, we you said off um, off the uh, re- recording. Mm-hmm. Everybody needs a little ratchet. Of course. When I, when I see prudish people who are just so uptight and it just looks like life hurts, I just think, man, if you just watch like one bum fight, mm-hmm. your day <laughs> would a little better. <laughs> It's sad. I've seen them all. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, I used to live for bum fights. Yeah, but but look, like you gotta have that source of ratchetness. That's like I love that meme where it's like me driving to work, listening, uh, me driving to my nine to five uh, to a song about selling drugs and killing people. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not gonna do none of that. <laughs> no, of course not. I got the nine. But to it five. helps me get through my day. Yeah. No, I don't have a gun in the car. I don't know how to measure no damn drugs, but what's a song, brick? What's a brick? Like, is it it's like so cool a it, man? Do you hit people with it? Mm-hmm. Do you, I don't know. But the thing is, you gotta have the ratchet, yeah, man. Like a little bit. Like even if it's, and then there's levels of ratchet. To some people, um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is the most supreme ratchet oh my god i can't believe it mm-hmm. but see for me it's like oh damn we got street walkers again like oh like Stupid. the internet did shut down and now no but i there's gotta you gotta have a ba- balance so th- this picture was balance. that enough for you or was the whole situation a balance for you um no see the situation bothered me but at the same time, it didn't bother me because somebody brought up a good point. They were like, people got the nerve to call them ratchet, but then we gave Catch Me Outside a whole career. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. We but, just but, get ratchet on a grander scale. Yeah, well, she because, did it on daytime TV. They see, did it in France. And like, we get the, <laughs> but that's, that's because this is that, that bit of ratchet this, that people, and it, it just caught on. That nope. became a national sin- catch me outside. How about that? You know what I mean? I'm like, bro, what? How did bro. that? What did she do? Now she's a a recording artist. <laughs> she signed millions yeah. of views and followers. Bro, paid man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. One of her songs I, I was listening to, and I was like, oh man, I, I was bobbing my head to yeah, a couple. Like, uh, she had a couple. I, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I had I've been I've been bamboozled. Mm-hmm. I just left it on the playlist. I'm oh, not going. Like, I'm not going to even lie. I left I that. Like, I was like, oh. I left it right up there on the playlist. Man, you know um, the. I'm cool yeah. with the ratchetness. Like, oh, I don't. I don't jump on the internet searching for it. But but when it pops up, it is beautiful. Yeah, I I'll, I'll be scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through one of these sites where I get my daily dose of. You know, ratchet this front, and I may come across a fight between um, some McDonald employees. And <laughs> oh, that was greatness! Oh, yes. girl, really thought. She, see, first off, why are you boxing a hundred pounds above your weight class? No, of course, yeah. You be what leave, are you doing? You need to leave that alone. Definitely. What are, you, alone. what are you doing? Why are you swinging above that high above your weight class? I don't care how much heart you got. Yeah, some it people, ain't worth it. Some people got and too much heart, bro. She, man. She had too much heart, and they hit her with a wing and a breast, bro. Like they and did the no. She when she turned around and, and fired the up the lady help her? was helping her, and she she lit off on her. See, that's my like my daily dose. I get to Whoa. laughing for a minute for that, and then I'll go hey. back to looking up informational stuff. Did you did you ever see that video of those dudes ghost riding the whip? They was flipping it hard, and it was a damn U-Haul truck. They rented for twenty four ninety nine. They was like you, and then they they whipped it. And they braked hard. The dude was in the camera. He was like, "You could get this for twenty four ninety nine." And then they kept going. I was like, "They killing that car." <laughs> like, took it back with no tires. Like, 
<laughs> These were fresh. Yeah, where the <laughs> damn thread at? <laughs> Look, you only got a you only got twenty miles on him. All circle. All <laughs> circle. <laughs> hey, listen, that, that's and that's the type of stuff we watch. Like we've been like, Ha Ha Davis. Remember we were uh, we sat here, we sat up here and watched that video thirty times. I watched it before we recorded. <laughs> He said, I ain't playing no game. He said, what you selling? I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's hilarious. So, Hey, bro. And, did and, you see? His is, and those are skits, too. So, Yep. Did you see what he said? He said, game, game, gamey. <laughs> he was like, don't call me. I'm playing 2K. <laughs> <laughs> and 2K just came out, didn't it? Yes, Lord. Yeah. God bless America. You I get it? I might get this one because Bron Bron the Great's on the cover. Mm. So, uh, Even on, like, might- three. Yeah, but I think I have all of those. Um, I might get that one. Right. It's been a while. The last 2K I got, folks, uh, 2015. My VC coin expired so long. Shit, it's not like you could transfer that shit over anyway. Hey, bro, how cold is that game? Like, how cold is that? The game is ice cold. The game is to be sold, not told. Yeah. People's getting pimped to the max. EA and uh, <laughs> these fools, 2K Sports, all these people... EA included. They all sitting here like, wait, so y'all gonna let us take a picture, slightly tune the graphics because not really, Mm because the systems ain't changing. You gonna let us sell you a new roster and maybe a new single player story mode and some new stats. And you gonna buy it full price like you did last year? And get the special edition? Bro, we worse than crackheads. (laughs) That's why I don't buy sports games, look, man. And we, look, you better off oh, renting bro. them damn things. You you are. I almost I, I feel like if Blockbuster would have been smart enough to invest in sports games only, they might still be around. Oh, they sports. would. They yeah, would. because you know, there's still one. Like there's still one Blockbuster, but there would be more plenty. Yeah. Um I just I wonder how lonely and like how no, it's probably not lonely. It's probably regal as hell in the last blockbuster. You probably walk in there and it's like it's, it's probably good. for mu- museum purposes only. <laughs> Man, like you could, you could probably go up in there and get like five movies for ten dollars. Yeah, we selling them all right. We ain't even renting these mugs. Yeah, like hey, you take it home. Don't bring it back. <laughs> don't you bring that <laughs> shit back. <laughs> don't don't bring it back. Yeah, man. I don't know. I I that's. That's the sole reason why I stopped playing sports games. And that's the sole reason why I stopped buying Madden or uh, 2K. Because I remember, I remember, oh, yeah, I'm about to get stacked here. I'm about to get Iverson. I'm about to get Keem Olajuwon. I'm about to get them all. And then I realized, like, they talking about the next one. The next one come out in a couple oh, months. You, I don't even think you get a full eight months mm. playing 2K before they already, like, start. Yeah, well, you get a season. You get the NBA season. You get the season, and then you get you get off season, like a little bit of the off season, and then they start talking the season, about, and then off season again. So that's all you like, get. I, I legit feel bad for people who don't buy it the day it comes out and they wait till Christmas because mm-hmm. you've lost three months. Out oh of yeah, your limited P- time. people hurt. Yeah, you, know, like, you, gotta, you know, you're yeah, not, and then Lord forbid you update to play online. Now you're like you don't even get a full damn. Yeah. I see you. You probably man. you'll probably get more more time, uh, by creating all the all of the new draft picks, creating them, and then also um, switching the roster around yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, so you get the it's the same same teams. Mm-hmm. What's like 35, 35 teams in the league or thirty six oh, teams? You know, I can't count. Yeah. Oh. 35 teams, I think, in the league. Correct me if I'm wrong in the description below, please. Or in the comment, comment section good. below. And, um, yeah, you better. You probably have way more time just switching the rosters around and just playing it on that one. Bro. I can't do that. But, I mean, speaking of that, though, let's go to a different genre. Call of Duty mm-hmm. Black Ops uh, 4, they, they released the beta for their blackout mode. And I didn't play it. I didn't. I told myself I wasn't gonna play uh, play any more betas, but it looks amazing. I am not gonna lie to you. I was sitting there. What happened? Wait, oh, yeah. where? No, I'm I'm a little dumbfounded. When? How? When did I it come out? I kept seeing ads, but I thought it was. Yeah, it it beta came out today. 
Or like, I think it came out today. Pre-order or is it open beta? I, I don't know what it is. I wasn't paying attention to it like that. But Whoa. it it came out and it looks amazing. It really what does. I'm not playing that. No, don't do it because you're going to ruin it. What if it's only one map? Now you know the whole damn map and the experience is ruined for you. No, I'm be fine. I just, you know. I'm Bullshit. Up don't even. Don't you lie to me. I'll be great. <laughs> don't you lie to me. I'll be great. Yeah, so that, that came out. And um Ooh, speaking on speaking on betas, I was man, I was really out there getting my saving private Ryan on. Oh, you're Battle playing Field, Battlefield Battlefield Five. Yeah. Look, let me tell you, I was giving people grief, man. I was in this hotel, I was out there saying the Lord's Prayer feeding <laughs> hot rounds. They were catching them. I was like, Oh my god, back to pow and then I was leading people off and I was like, Oh man, the Lord is my shepherd. Pow See how like, was that? <laughs> how was that? I was playing. It about. felt good. See, I, and I, then, and then they fixed the whole mechanic of laying prone. You can aim behind you. Your character literally adjusts, oh, so you could be laying prone and hit like Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, there you go. Well, and sorry. you can hit all angles, sniper rifle and all, and That's it even makes so you can lay on your back and shoot. But you can't look directly down your scope because they try to make it as realistic. Of course, as yes. But yes. I'm like, oh, feeding people. I was, bro. <laughs> he said, I'm feeding oh, people hot oh, rounds. Oh, and hot, they are hot. catching them. <laughs> bro. I'm leading I'm, people off. And it felt easier to snipe. Usually I have to get used to sniping. Yeah. Or maybe I'm just, you know, Archer Ranger. Yeah, see, out. that's a, a lot of people who, who who enjoy Battlefield more than Call of Duty, they, they tend to shoot better than people who play Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty... There, this is the first Call of Duty with bullet drop off. Whereas, Whoa. yes, this is the first Call of Duty with bullet drop off. So a ump should not be able to catch me exactly. with an AR. Exactly, like you're you're oh. not fucking just aiming at the head and hitting the head. It's mm. you can see it drop. But the only reason why it's like that, they had to put it in there because of the black the blackout mode. Could you so imagine having a pistol head in from across the map? People do it. I, no, I still, but I'm talking about to in this blackout. day, to this day, you remember when you raged? <laughs> oh, you, he my went, God. man. Somebody, somebody domed his ass from across the map with the 44 Magnum, and he went. Off. I lost it. I think I lost it for a good 30 minutes, bro. <laughs> 30 minutes of him cussing, <laughs> just being. I was uh, hot. Act. It makes no sense. Yeah, exactly. But it's still a video game. <laughs> but bro, you can. Let me stop. I'm gonna get mad See? for no reason. But at the same time, I ain't playing no games. But this is exactly <laughs> why I was like, it, "This is why black the blackout mode looks so amazing." Same, it's carbon copy PUBG, right? It is really. It is damn near PUBG, but it's wow. it looks and feels. Or I had, I didn't get to play it, but it looks and it looks as if it feels like Call of Duty. You run around, and then you know what they did. This is what kind of made it dope to me too. Some of our favorite maps, like my favorite Call they're of Duty map, connected. they're all on the map, like as areas to drop. Nuke Town, Firing Range, uh, Crash was on there. It was like, oh crap, this thing it looked dope. So I, I was, like, I'm kind of excited for it. I think I'm gonna pay attention to it a little bit more. Keep on watching these streamers stream it. And I may get that, man. And then I'm I'm a huge fan of Treyarch anyway, because mm. I think they make the best Call of Duties. Which my favorite one is Call of Duty Two or Black Ops Two. That's my favorite Call of Duty. Um, I think with them working on it, I feel more relieved. I mean, it's still the same Call of Duty every year bullshit, but it's Treyarch. Like they made the best zombies. They made the best Call of Duties, in my opinion. You know, I think I got... They've earned my trust, at least. So That's fair. Man, we yeah, really got to sit... Man. We really got to sit down and hash out what games we're going to buy. I got it. We're, we, we already know where we're getting them. We're getting them all on Xbox. No, but no, not where. Like, which ones? Because we got to have... Bro, because... Man. I'm going to go... I'm going to be poor. Messing I, around this holiday season. Listen, Destiny's look, back in my life. Call, look, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. I know I'm going to want to dabble in Battlefield. I'm, I'm not going to get Battlefield. I'm not going to even try. Well, then you don't have to worry about that one. Um, I know I'm going to play Call of Duty with you. Yeah, but but regardless, so. if you get it, I'm going to get it too. 
So, no, but this is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. make life simple. Of we course. ain't gotta go full. We ain't gotta buy full price I, games no more. I, I totally understand. Look, but see, but then see, then I always say like, yo, I really want. I and I haven't been doing it because I'm. I refuse to start over on fucking on PC Destiny. I refuse oh. to start over. But I really want to play PC. Like I really want to become a part of the the, the, the only only thing is I have nobody to play with. So I'm playing these games by myself. Let me tell you, um, my only reason for not diving in, I don't even have over a 10, 10 mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, graphics oh, card. Of course. Yeah. My graphics card is the one. How the hell do I got an i7 with a 965? Who hurt me? <laughs> like, show, man. But you, it's also time, too. Like, you've had that last Yeah, it was. Minute, I've had so it for a couple years. You got to yeah. think about time plays a factor with technology because it's every Did year they come they out. they announce the 2080s or whatever? Whatever them high ass. I said, I ain't, man. I'm, All right, well, man. I was work. like, man, if I can't go to the moon on it. <laughs> you should be able bro. to fly with this bug. <laughs> I'm bro. cool. I, we've I think we established this one of our earlier episodes about, like, using what we have yes and know? utilizing it to the best of our ability yeah and this kind of this this kind of in a, in a sense goes into our next topic uh, i think you wanted to talk about um obviously the holidays is coming up yeah and um oh i okay and of course we're going to touch on this again um and uh this is more or less not a guide but just my personal opinion, because sales are already popping up. Like, they got a Nintendo Switch sale. I don't know if it's still going, but it was at Best Buy or something like that. Mm. Um, what was that sale? It, it wasn't really a sale, because you're just you're getting a game for half off and a regular price. Oh, yes. Uh, like, Switch. it's a bundle. It's a okay, bundle. bundle. Not so much a sale, but a bundle. It's a sale on the game, not on the Um, If you... Like, I tell people this. If you're new to gaming... And you're getting ready to hop on something for the first time. You don't know if you're really... This is personal opinion. Let me know in the comments. Mm-hmm. Um, if You don't know if this is something you really want to get into. I would always say, go pick up an Xbox. Mm-hmm. Go pick up an Xbox One. Or even if you're short on cash, go pick up an Xbox 360 and just lose your mind. Yeah. Go with it. Dive deep. See if it's something you enjoy. And then take it from there. Because the reason why I say the Xbox One would be a great starter system for people. And this is for people getting ready to go shopping, starting to get their setups right, saving up, getting layaway, whatever. Mm -hmm. However you're doing it. However you're doing it. This Because it is that time of year. I mean, oh, people buying Halloween stuff today. Mm -hmm. Shoot, people Uh, Christmas shopping right now. No, this is what I'm saying. So this is why I'm bringing it up randomly. Yeah. Um. And the reason I say that, I feel like the Xbox is um, you, uh, well, not the user interface. Yeah, the user interface. Yeah, the UI. Is, the UI is pretty basic. Pretty, you don't, you don't have to dig too deep. I feel like it, and I don't know if that's more or less because I use it more often. I'm going to say that because me- I remember when you brought this up to me and I was like, yo, that, yeah. that, that's because when I got my Xbox... And even even to this day, when we jump on and I jump on the play, um, it I had to get rid of a lot of those tiles off the mm-hmm. because it was so. Not only was it it felt it just looked like congested, but it also was like intimidating because I'm like, mm. damn, where the hell do I go? How do I start? Where do I go to? You know what I'm saying? So that was my one thing. Well, that, was, that was my thing with it. Because I'm like, yo, with PlayStation, and this is where it becomes subjective, with PlayStation 4, I know that. I know where to access everything. Whereas with Xbox, I'm not that first with it yet. You see what I'm saying? So me trying to maneuver on Xbox, I can easily do everything that I need to do on PlayStation because I know where to go. I I can count steps to where I need to go. Whereas Xbox, I got to really read and pay attention to where I'm at. So... <clears throat> yeah, I would say the X if you're not into gaming like that, I would say the 360. Yeah. I feel like the 360 is the way to go because 
It's cheap. There's so many games. So cheap. So many games you could play right now for the for Hell, 360. Games that just got re-released recently are on Xbox 360. On Xbox 360, exactly. Skyrim. Um, what else just got re-released? There's a bunch of games that just came out again. Mm-hmm. What was it? The One of the Master Chief Collection. Like, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, a bunch of Halo games. Yeah. Like, there's so much there. And there's actually a big community of people who still run PlayStation 3 and um, Xbox, Xbox 360. 360. Yeah, because yep. those those are the systems that we left in the past. Now everything, most of the games you see on your on your three on your Xbox Ones, your PlayStation Fours, they're all online. Mm-hmm. All of them. Like God of War had an update today. Like, are you serious? Yes. Like, what does it need an update for? <laughs> Did they finally add the new game plus? I, I don't know what the update was. I just didn't even check. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I randomly get updates for that. And God of War was a... It Single was, player experience. Exactly. That's all it was. So, and, with the and 360, that, you can do both. You can play online if you want. You don't have to play online. But you get to experience a lot of games that you may have missed. Like, it's a gang of games that I wish I would have played growing up that I... I don't have the time right now to play that I would yeah. love to dive back into. And then um and then for collectors, I mean, and this is slightly off topic, Xbox three sixty had some of the best special editions. I mean, from the R two D two, the there was a random Homer Simpson one. Mm-hmm. Um there was a there was so many special editions. And they look like it wasn't just like here's a stamp of a yeah the, the R two D two they were dope. they because dude remember the that came R2... with the that came with the 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 gold controller the all gold yep, controller the C three the C three PO controller yeah. and then when you open the disc tray look look how it, old that sound disc tray it had uh, it would go boop, 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 yep. and then on the lining it had Obi Wan you're our only hope like hmm. that. I, I remember throwing pennies at GameStop to buy one. Like, mm-hmm. anytime I had any extra change, I went to get it. Doom, doom, doom. And then that one came out right, I want to say, a little bit before the Xbox One. One came out, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, but, my, but here, this is the point. So, and once again, bias, it's probably a super biased opinion. But I just tell people... You'll get there's crazy bundles. There's crazy bundles for both consoles. Mm-hmm. But you know, um, you know what? Another thing too to 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 piggyback off that, it may be easier. Xbox may be easier for people. Now that I think about it, because it's Microsoft. Everybody yeah, nowadays universal. got computers. Oh, that part too. I need yeah. to get into that. See? It connects to your computer. Connects. Most people have a Windows account. Exactly. Most like yeah. most people I know. Unless you're so weird it, and you're an yeah. Apple person. And you know what bothers me about Apple? See, you started something. (laughs) This is what bothers me about Apple. People, the and the Apple laptops, those keyboards are trash. Joe Rogan even said those keyboards. They phones are trash, bro. I'm not gonna go down that road because I get trashed at work day for having an Android phone. Whatever. Hey. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not doing that today. I could do this. Yep. <laughs> yep. And call it a day. And screen still solid. <laughs> screen is perfect. Probably woke my wife up. <laughs> All right? She going to come running in. The hell was that? <laughs> nah, Man. but I don't know. It, it's, it, it is it is just And then oh, pick the one. Then, oh, go ahead. And then even with this when I it was, comes to when it comes to streaming if you wanted to get into streaming and that was something you're interested in, you seen Twitch and it caught your attention, I would tell somebody get an Xbox. Especially an older one with a connect. Mm-hmm. Like get you an because you don't even have to have a laptop. You can run immediately quick straight from there. Get you an old Xbox mm-hmm. with an old connect and call it a day. Cause that's when I first started streaming. That's how I started. Yeah. Started with my connect, boosted it up. The camera was weird though, because it would track me. If I move real cool, it would zoom in. Yeah, see, PlayStation, PlayStation's was real cool because you could set it up to where you you didn't see the the notifications. It just popped up and let you know, hey, somebody, you got a message, and then you would look elsewhere. Either people would look on their phone or they would bring it up to see who said something. Which is genius <laughs> because I will tell you, 
short sm- um, shrinking my screen to do everything on it to do everything on one thing or making my screen completely disappear and having to use my phone mm-hmm. but having that option where a notification will pop up that that do- that does make a difference put it this way when i first started streaming the first game i played was assassin's creed um origins mm. i did not know there was a health because <laughs> anytime i turned the game on i was streaming yeah. and recording and with Xbox, there is a notification bar that shows you how many people are watching, how many minutes you're recording, and that covered the health bar. Oh, okay. So for the whole experience of me <laughs> playing that game, up until one day I turned it on without recording, I had no idea that That's I had a health, health bar. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, speaking but of that, are you going to get the new Assassin's Creed? Am I going to get the new one? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to wait. Uh, I will wait and buy that one super. Uh, I will buy that one super late. Just think about it. Because I man. haven't finished Origin. Think about it. We got a Red Dead, which is supposed to be online as well. Yeah. Fallout 76, which is only online. online. I'm playing Naruto oh Shinobi Striker. That's what you play playing now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay. So let me warn people. All my friends out there, all the people listening who dare to one day game with me, mm-hmm. you need to understand <laughs> when I say I'm a variety gamer, yeah, I carry he, that. He truly he, is a variety gamer. My my cousin, we were just talking the other day. Happy birthday to him. And we were just talking, and he was like, I'm not buying no games you buy. I was like, you shouldn't. I warned you. <laughs> Don't do that to yourself. Because you're gonna get invested, you're gonna care, and then I'm gonna get over it. Yeah, that's how you, that's how division what happened with division, bro. Well, no, what happened with the division? This is different because I cared about that game. I vested mad time, and I was loving that game. Yeah, but you wasn't Update gonna stay forever. One point zero. I, Travis, be be I, real with yourself. Was you gonna bro, stay? <laughs> the way I was playing. Look how I kept on Destiny. Yeah, but when you I still- find no, but when I find something that grabs me. I'm gra- and then it gave me something to do for how long though? That's for. the question. Well, look, I stayed on Destiny up until D two, and then it was trash sauce in the beginning, and I was like, I'm done. I I was already ready to trash sauce it, and what did I say? I'll be back. Year see, three. I didn't know you played. I didn't see. I I didn't know you played Destiny up until oh, D two because you were on PlayStation. Yeah. Oh, so folks, folks out there in my Xbox people, they'll tell you they would hit me up like B. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I be I was on the app. Ooh, Iron Banner coming up next week, bro. Mm-hmm. I see. That's funny. You you were just yeah because you you said uh, we used to talk about it all the time, but I didn't know you play like because bro. I just I, tell- I just know you like as you're yeah. not gonna stick around for a while no, because you, you love look. you love Monster Hunter. And oh yeah. you ain't playing Monster Hunter, but well, that's you know what only happened. because. There's a gang of other games that you bought the, that you playing. That? Shinobi Striker came out. You playing the shit out of that. So yeah. we've already I've already established this with you, and that's why I'm not really I don't feel no way because I can always go back and play Destiny or play a game that I enjoy because that's not you. I don't expect you to be on a game more than two months. Like it's two months is your limit, and then another game come out and you gonna master this shit out of Let- that, and then, <laughs> then you gonna drift on. away. <laughs> Let me let me get y'all the real. What it is, my true grit and passion are turn-based tactical RPGs. Like I can when I tell you, I keep a Game Boy on me with Final Fantasy Tactics. I does. keep a Game Boy. I have an original DS, the big block one mm-hmm. with Final Fantasy Tactics on there, and then I got my my newer uh, DS, and that's with Final Fantasy um, Tactics 2. Yeah. I love XCOM. Uh, they're even making a Gears of War tactical RPG game. Oh, he gonna be I over love that. these games. They all strategically are the same to me, mm-hmm. but for some God given reason, <laughs> yeah. I am hooked. I'm He's like, wait, back. what? Turn based grid. RPG multiple classes. <laughs> I get to create my character and find loot and put new loot on them and give them better stats and 
I still don't what? understand why you ain't played World of Warcraft. I used to. Um, I used to play it, but see that that's cool to me. But that's not what I'm looking for. What do you mean? I'm not looking for world. I'm not looking for a big giant world full of happy people <laughs> and murderous people. That's not what I want. I don't want that. I mm-hmm. want to be able to sit, try to save my little group of people, keep them up. Okay, let me tell you this oh, mission. You got me. I got to tell you this mission. So I had to go. Or I went on a mission and one of my people got knocked unconscious. Uh-huh. But I had to blow up the building and save everybody else. Yeah. I was like, I can't risk the whole crew for this one person. She's unconscious. So they just gonna take her hostage. She's just gonna get beat up for about a week. So is this I'm a real like, person? No, this is a game. Okay. So I ain't playing no games. No, <laughs> but um, so I lo- I leave. I do all the little side quests to get back to that point to where we go rescue her. Yeah. So then, okay, this is where she at. I gear up. I drop uh area search grenades. I everything to sneak. And then I brought the. I always bring gr- these grenade dudes who have grenade grenade launchers, just in case I need to blow my way out of a building because mm-hmm. you can knock down walls and create open paths. Yeah. So we sneak the whole mission, and the cool thing. And this is. I'm so sorry. This is XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. So what's so dope about XCOM 2 compared to the other XComs? And there's so many more. I know just. A, but there's so many more. Yeah. The thing that makes XCOM 2 so I've epic. I've never played XCOM. The thing that makes it so epic is you have a, a evac set up. So if you go to a mission and you're like, look, I don't want to lose my people. I'd rather just lose this mission. You could set up an evac point and have to get there and get your people out. Oh, okay. So I set everything up for the evac. And then soon as I unlocked the door, I knew the alarm was going to go off and they was going to activate. I got everybody evac except one person. Opened the door, alarm went off, snuck out, blew up the place. I didn't have to shoot one round. <laughs> it was the be- I I like that. Yeah. But I don't want to play Rainbow Six. Do you get what I'm saying? It, it's, it's weird. Yeah. But, but that's just me, man. <laughs> like, that that those is kind of weird. They they make fun of me on uh my friends on Xbox make fun of me. They they're like, oh Baron's playing Massive Chalice again. There's a game called Massive Chalice. It's a turn-based RPG. This is probably the most in-depth one I've ever played because you you're like this god being defending this this continent. Mm-hmm. You're the you like you're 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 basically like a god looking over this place. You deal with kingdoms and lineages. So here it is. I'm like, oh man, I like the archers. These archer dudes, they're dope. Well, okay, so you got this archer, and then you got this really fast archer, but the really fast archer has a short lifespan. So it's like, okay, well, I want to make them king and queen, but now I got a whole generation of kids and future warriors who all die at an early age because yeah. of their grandfather or their uncle or mm-hmm. whatever. You can, and they, they, you're, you're like reading a percentage, like <laughs> no, yeah. So like, if you you would be like, oh, this person's an alcohol. And it, it runs in the family. Mm. So that would affect the stats of their kids. Okay. Or it is skip a generation. So their kid won't have it. But then all of a sudden, the and kid they, will have the perfect soldier. And then they'll not be able to have any. Uh, they won't be able to reproduce. I've had that happen so many times where it'll be the perfect soldier. Like everything about his beautiful. And it won't be able to. He can't uh, reproduce. You can't reproduce. Wow. Yeah. So, bro. And then people grow old. And then they get different abilities, like aged, war torn, mm-hmm. like bro. Why yeah. not? That know, man, them, them games. See, that's that's your neck of the woods, and I can bro. see myself getting into them because remember, I, you were the one that got me into Fallout because I never played Fallout until I met until True. I met you and you started True. talking to me about it, and now that's one of my favorite. Hello. Yeah. No, I was. Some downstairs, but that's one of my favorite games now. Mm. Fallout. So, let me bro, try. man, massive I, know, man. I wish that company would make a number two because it's been out for years. I've been playing it for a Listen, while. Man, I wish, I'll jump in and out. I wish, I wish they push back Red Dead. <clears throat> really? I wish they push it back. Who six hurt months. you? Fallout seventy six is coming out. I need, I, I need life 
I need I all the time I possibly can. If I had vacation time to burn, I would burn it for the first week of Fallout. Hey, hey real talk, bro. Like, I ain't even think of that. See? It's what, so but, many. But let me, let me tell you why I'm not worried about it. I'm not looking forward to Red Dead Online. I am. I see I, now. Now I see why that's a problem for you. Yeah. But, but as in me, like just like with Grand Theft Auto Five, I don't play it for the online factor. Mm-hmm. That's never been. I don't. That's never been a drive for me. I, yeah. I just I don't care for it. But um, I would care more for it if it was more bigger servers. Like, could you imagine? Like, instead of seeing fake people, you everybody, everybody you saw was real. Was yeah. real? Bro. yeah. See. I'm, that would I'm, be dope. I want to see it, like how they're gonna do like their team death match, like mm, how they're gonna. Do that did used to be fun because that shit remember, was fun. Remember, it would start off with a draw. Yeah, yeah. Every match used to start that way. So I played it. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it on of Red course. Dead, but it just it wasn't my like. Uh, it's actually in my place. I keep a PlayStation Three in my bedroom. Mm-hmm. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption's in my PlayStation Three. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, like, that's how real it is. I love so, Red Dead, man. I just wanna, I wanna, see, I hope it, I hope they do this right. I hope they do it right. I hope they take everything they learned from Grand Theft Auto Five and from Red Dead and Red Dead One, and just make this game right. But at the same time, I'm like, man, Fallout come out, man. I wanna, I wanna see what that's about. And then I say, damn. Then they got uh. The beta's supposed to come out next month. Co- See, beta's coming out next month. I, I probably still won't play that. I think I'm gonna stick to my I'll, guns. I'll, I know I'm gonna jump on the beta. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm that. Stick to my guns, but I, I don't think I'm gonna play that. But then, the damn battle royale Call of Duty looks so good. Like it really mm. does look so, like it's so much games coming out, man. So I gotta, I gotta see what I'm gonna do, man. Uh, hey, don't it suck? We we work hard and we can afford the games now, but we ain't got the time to play. We sure don't. Yeah, that's why, we um, need to, that's why we need to make the time. And to then, plan. then you got to think about everything that's coming in January, right out, right after that. And then February has a, especially for PlayStation, February See, is major. Um, I can't even think that far. Yeah, I it's really it's crazy. I really can't. Like I, I gotta, I'm gonna have to hermit, hermit crab. <laughs> well, January first, I'm gonna have to sit in my shell, dog. And, and, and just, but one thing I will say when it comes to Fallout seventy six, I think you're gonna be able to treat that one like a like a year one through two Destiny. You can jump in and out. You ain't you're not gonna get left behind. I'm hoping I so. Think they because they they really plan on having a long time and even doing seasonal events okay. and stuff like that. So like even like Monster Hunter, uh, that's a cheap comparison. Um, that's an odd comparison, but as in. How you can jump in, do what you got to do, get some stuff done. Oh, there's a daily event, weekly event. Okay. And then put it down and go play other games and then mm-hmm. come back. It, it You can grind if you want to. That's how I'm, when I hear games as a service and then hearing what they're talking about, because, of course, there's not much demos out there. Yeah. Um, Just from hearing what it is and knowing what they're trying to make it, that's what's going to happen. See, it did. This is my thing, and I'm I'm gonna use Destiny as a as an example. Destiny, let's use Destiny Two, Forsaken as an example. Okay. Every they have daily missions that drop powerful gear, and mm. they have weekly missions that drop powerful gear. Now I know I get two days off, right? Mm-hmm. So I know I get two days off. I got two days to try to complete all the powerful gear. Because I got one whole week to knock out all the, or one week before they reset everything. So to maximize my character's power level growing, I try to knock out all the powerful gear. That way I could put it down and not really stress about playing over the mm-hmm. weekend and then catch it next weekend or my next days off and use all the power, the powerful gears then. So with other games, I'm hoping it's something like that. Because with that, I can stomach. Do I like it? No. Because I can technically be... Like, for example, there's a dude already that's like light level 550-something. And the highest light level is 600. But the way they turn the, the light leveling down in this game, you don't you don't jump as easy as you used to. 
and he he this he been grinding everything, doing everything to get his power level up, and he's been maximizing on the things he should do. Like, literally, is it the same way where you should be wearing max gear in order to rank up? Yeah, get well, gear, not in that's still this. A thing? You just have to have it on your person. Mm. So you don't have to wear the gear. You just have to have it on your character. Mm. But uh, but you know, people still wear their gear. People still wear it anyway. Yeah, because I was about to say I would. You I have to. You, you have to because if you jump into a a mission and you're not see this is the thing with Destiny. Once you hit hit that 600 mark or that capped out light level or max level or whatever, everything becomes so easy that you just speed run through everything. You're not. You're taking damage and not thinking twice about it. You see what I'm saying? So I, I'm I'm hoping that these other I'm hoping that Fallout's like that because I can stomach that. I mean, I work forty hours a week. I can I could play forty four hours and get in four hours every two days or whatever. And do what you gotta and do. do. What I gotta do and get, get off. Get the game, and then that'll be dope because I can make sure to be on. We can knock stuff out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's what's gonna be dope about a lot of the games we want to play. I'm not worried about Red Dead Redemption because that I'm going for the story. Okay. Online yeah, online too. play, it'll be cool. Maybe I'll jump on with somebody with you. But I'm going for the story mode, so knowing that I can turn it off and turn it back on and be where I was. Yeah. And not feel left behind. Perfect. So yeah. that game I'm not worried about. Only games that I'm worried for not really worried, but that would be an issue would be Fallout. And would be um, what was the what was the other one that was um, hell the battlefield Call of Duty yeah, those see. ones you gotta kind of and then I remember walking away from Battlefield and then picking it back up mm -hmm. and the class I like to play you have to know how to shoot I like to be a sniper yeah so if you play in Destiny and then jump back to Battlefield my God you gotta read. Calibrate, you gotta. You, you really do, because yeah. even even going to play Call of Duty and going back to Destiny, it's because you 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 really are. Well, Battlefield to Destiny, it's the same frame rate on console, but when you play like for me, whenever I play Call of Duty and I gotta go back, I have to have a warm up game. Like mm -hmm. I have to go and shoot a gang of stuff just to get my shot back right and most of the time what i find myself doing <laughs> every time i jump back to destiny I, I i turn my uh my my sensitivity all the way down to zero and start all over again yep and, and literally and literally i would start from zero then go to one then after two games i'll go to two and then until i get back to my point and i'll just play and I should, I should yeah. be good by that, but bro, it's a trip that you you legit have to do that. Even yeah. even something as simple as switching TVs makes a difference. Or going from a sixty refresh rate to one hundred and twenty, like or two four uh, two forty, whatever. Yeah. All of these things, all of these things are major changes, and um, it's it's something that most people don't think about. But but back to the point, um, when it comes to these games only ones I'm worried about time frame and like amount of putting in would be Battlefield. Because mm -hmm. Call of Duty is always, for me, always a kind of whenever I see people on and they want to play. Oh, yeah, of course. And I feel it. That's always how it's been for me. Yeah. Games that are consistent for me is Battlefield. Mm -hmm. But yeah, bro, you know, um, we got to, you know, putting it all together. Um, ratchetness <laughs> is, is a part of life. You funny, know. that's how we started it. <laughs> that's yeah, not start. I want to end it this way because people need to know you gotta you gotta have a little bit. I'm mm -hmm. not saying you gotta go out and get a not like Cardi B at a fancy event. No, but Don't it's okay knot. to watch the video of Cardi B getting a knot mm -hmm. at the fan. Do you event. think she's watching the video? Uh, I think so. I feel like I feel like she's making a she. I could see her at home watching it. Like, see, 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 this is where I got hit. I'm gonna I'm tell you what made me. What made me when I heard when Eminem mentioned about DJ Academics' video on him getting caught lacking with a thought. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, video these celebrities watch everything. Like yep. <laughs> anything regarding them, they watch it. Like they pay attention to it. 
So I'm like, em, it's Eminem. Eminem's personal life been out there since he started. Oh, yeah. And you're telling me he didn't have to care about that. He really did to, to be able to turn around and put it in the song. Oh, he's seen that shit a thousand oh, yeah. something times. <laughs> Could you imagine how... I wonder, do they even have their social media connected to their personal phones? Because I couldn't imagine... Or literally, notifications have to... Yeah, they the probably. battery would die in like a minute. Could yeah, you, there's bro, no saving that. I wonder if if famous people suffer from extreme ghost rings. You know, when uh, people think their phone's vibrating, like ghost yeah. vibrating. I feel like they suffer from that. They have to. Because it's real. Yeah. Well, I know I deal with it. I'd be like, oh, my phone. Like, nobody calling you. Ain't nothing there. <laughs> and I don't get phone calls. Yeah, me neither. Nobody talks to me. So I can only imagine with somebody who every five minutes you're trending. Ooh. So you said Ooh. when 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 the phone is like we need the hug. Oh, and you know what? Let's end on this note, people speaking on hugging famous people. Um check on people you know. Check on your strong ones. Uh rest in peace, Mac Miller. Rest in peace, Mac. Um so crazy. That was so crazy too, man. Like Yeah, man. Like he was just tour was supposed to start like yeah, just dropped month. the album i didn't even know the album about. was vicious um tiny desk concert was vicious hmm. um, oh that was dope yeah bro like it just like that one i i mean i was a little bothered when prince passed but this one this would because i really vibe with his music yeah. you know his music was through high school or well, not high school was it? yeah into high school mm-hmm. up to um up to college like it just his music was always around during major events and it was just a trip Mm -hmm. uh but rest in peace man um mental health is a big thing um and that's i i think that kind of piggies back to the whole ratchet thing because the whole release you know you gotta we ain't gotta purge that's not what i'm pushing here but no no (laughs) um but you do gotta have that push the purge right and you got to have that um, somebody you talk to and do something that's for you. Self-care, man. Self-care is real. Yeah. Um, I agree, Take care man. of yourselves, people. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. This is episode oh, 34. Yeah. Um, uh, please, if you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a comment. Um, we read them. We definitely oh, yeah, want to hear your feedbacks. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, the, and even your, your points, your points. Your, Anything you would like to say to us, we'll definitely get it through the comments. Or even there. correct us, man. Don't or let us cor- sit up here and be please wrong. Please correct me. Yeah, I'd don't have me up here Be corrected crazy. and, you know, do it the right way than to be up here spewing stuff that isn't either isn't true or, you know, Just, yeah. Yeah. shouldn't have been said. But either anyway, um, yeah, all of all of the links are actually in the description this time. Tone Deaf Radio. Tone Deaf Radio. Spreaker.com forward slash Tone Deaf. Tone Deaf Radio, that's in the description. Uh, and then check out our Twitter or our Twitters, our Instagrams, and our, our individual, Twitches. Yeah, our individual Everything YouTube channel. Individually channels. is broken up into sections down there for you guys to check out. So Yeah, yeah man. And then um and then I'll, I'm gonna end it off singing some Weezer. Um, I'm not about to hear this singing. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Stay day, so whoa, whoa. Listen, man. All right. I'm Baron J67. And I'm T Jones. There's a silent X there. Shut up. Peace.